we talk about it in my clinic all the time. The serving size for a kid is their fist, so. These are Valencia oranges? These are Valencia oranges, uh-huh. So we're just starting the Valencia season this very week. And you see that juice just drip out of it? The older the tree, the sweeter the orange. Oh my God, that's good. The throwaway fruit from the global distribution point of view is actually the, the best tastier. tasting fruit. We know that our eaters are gonna eat this within two weeks, so we don't have to do a single thing at all. The commercial uh, distributors, they don't know whether their orange is gonna be eaten by someone in their same town or someone in China. And since they don't know that, they have to treat every single orange as if it's gonna take six to eight weeks to get there. They pick it, they'll bring it into a packing house, they'll pressure wash it with a hydrochloric acid solution, they'll drop it in this hot boric acid bath, then they'll drop it in some fungicide and cover it with wax, and they'll send it through this hot air tunnel to basically uh, heat up that wax so it will dry. After that, there's been so much chemical processing that it will have a shelf life of six to eight weeks, but it won't taste the same. But what's great about the oranges we're providing to, to LAUSD, it's so close, they're gonna eat them within two weeks. We don't have to do any of that, so those kids are getting the fresh picked off the tree experience. It's interesting how the simple act of eating has so many complicated layers behind it. Everything that it takes to grow, produce, and get the food to your plate has these complex layers of economy that you can actually change as you make a change in the choices that you make for eating food, and as a major institution, the kind of change you make with a market signal by what you purchase. So if you think of how it works in energy efficiency, we started saying that large buildings have to be energy efficient. That starts making a big change cumulatively. So if a major institution start thinking about how they're buying their food and they send that signal out, we want food that is healthier, we want to have more fruits and vegetables produced, we want to be able to support that practice, and we want it to be done sustainably, those are really important signals to send across. It's a complete paradigm shift. I mean, our company from 18 months ago when we first started talking about the cornbread, no added sugar, whole grain, cornmeal, and so forth, creating the product together and, and working with Chef Klaus and Philippe. Our company is, has changed in the way that we do product development now. I mean, it looks already good, right? I mean, just at the, at the wholesomeness of all of this. Think about there's oats, there's apples, there's carrots, there's all the different colors in there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, we're gonna add a little bit of, of um, raisin paste to it, and it is the best thing for our children to consume. My passion is to really make quality, good food that tastes good, that people will enjoy. I like with the apples. Healthy food should be like eating more um, lettuce and vegetables, fruits, and low in calories. It's an opportunity for to teach young children so that they then change the world for the future. My experience here, I've not totally stop eating junk food, but like, I cut a lot out. Now it's our turn to like, accept the healthy food and start eating yeah. it. So really finding a balancing act of food that the kids will eat that's not highly processed, that doesn't have additives and preservatives, that's local sourcing, do all of that 650,000 times a day and do it for $1.20 or less. Last year we purchased 72% of our produce came from within 200 miles of downtown Los Angeles. It's very rewarding to work in a process like this because what we see is we're making an impact on children's lives. And so the winner of the LAUSD Cooking Up Change competition is West Adam. <laughs>I sit in a clinic half the week uh -huh. talking to families and parents uh -huh. and suggesting to them that they continue or start the, eating the school lunch and breakfast. Uh -huh. And a lot of them don't because they go, oh, gross, it's so gross. I said, no, but it's changed. It's, yeah, it's yeah. healthier. Get an open mind because things are changing. And, and, I'm, and I do it so often, but it's one-on-one. -on -one, and I thought, you know, we need to yeah, right on. We need to scream and tell well, the world, exactly. you know, that this is what's well, happening. LA Unified is really mixing things up. They're really changing things. And if, if we don't support them now, then we're just going to sink back into that muck we used to eat. So I now's totally the time agree. to support them 100%.
100%. I feel more alert, more energetic. I've lost 50 pounds when I was in ninth grade. I feel happier, I make other people feel happier. It's something that you have to do for yourself. You just have to make sure that you put in the effort to get, eat the right foods. So then everything contributes and then you're just a healthy person and you think healthier, you act healthier, and you're more successful in life. I do have these very small pockets of hope with my patients because I they tell me one mom said oh my kids finally eating the lunch I you probably ate three or your oranges <laughs> <laughs> I hope so I hope so too <laughs> yeah it really is a win-win all the way around so it's sometimes having a, a target it's having the vision it's having the idea to to present it to uh, people in the right place at the right time right now we have the right time we have a lot of interest and will I think people just need to know how to do it it seems to me they're ready for it